presentation, is that the Dow goes up about three or four years and then goes back. And it goes over time, yeah, it goes up, but it goes in a cycle like this, a lightning bolt cycle. And where does it go? It goes back to the 200-week average. And when does it go up? It starts in the middle, towards, right towards the end of a recession. And when does it peak out? Right before the next recession. So I actually quantified that in this table. And if we can just spend a minute, if you've got it, or look up there. So let's start with the third column, length of recession in months. And they're all there. This goes back to 1902. First, let's say, what is a business cycle contraction? It's business gets bad. I won't put, try to put some high academic economic stuff on it. It's just like if you're in business, your sales start falling, you stop, start making less money, and you start cutting back. You start laying off people and not, you know, suspending your software development, you know, not expanding stores anymore. You know, if you're Starbucks and you just expanded into all this high-priced real estate all over the world, you're left holding the bag. You wonder, what do you do next? So that thing bins, builds on itself, and there's a down cycle of liquidation. In, in, and um, it takes about, on average, the bottom there, 15 months for a recession. And of course, the recession is never called or defined until a year or so later when the National Bureau of Economic Research actually defines the dates. So when you're, when you're actually in one, or it's starting, you better have some real-time, uh, reliable way of knowing that, you, that it's starting. And I would, uh, so that's, I'm planting a flag saying, this is it. We are starting a recession. And so we're, you could just fit this into the bottom line of the table and see what comes next. So um, the recession lasts about 15 months. The expansion, that's the next column, fourth column from the right, last uh, on the bottom, lasts 45 months. Now let's go up. Right above there, I don't have a pointer, sorry. The, the line above that, the last e expansion, not the one that, that we're currently in, the current one that we're currently in is 40 months now. The last one was 73, the one before that was 120, and the one before that was 92. I would argue that that is a function of Greenspan artificially prolonging the business cycle, kicking the can down the road, preventing a normal cyclical contraction. So after I, we lived in New York here, and I, I, we moved back to the West Coast, which is where I was originally from, went 